WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update and currently a little bit of a mixed bag. The only mix out here is the Dow. Must be mixed up. It's trading lower down 141 points with the S&P up 8. NASDAQ 100 up 72. Russell's up 24. Semi 70. Tranny's 156. Gold is up 1630. Trading at 1864. Silver 57 pennies at 25. 34 lights recruit up 12 cents at 8146 out there. Let's go spend a little time with our uh, cash indice charts out here. Give me a moment just to change screens. As soon as this pops up in your upper left-hand side, you will see the Dow Jones Industrial. It has a valid TD9 count top. Price is below that oscillator and change line. That suggests lower price. Lower price to where? Well, what the cash indices don't provide us with are those TAS market profiles. So you've got the uh, Dow trade at 35,940. 35,850, 847, 848 is where the Dow Equity Future contract is traded. So you can do the math there. And if price, uh, so price should find support at 35,759 in the Dow Equity Future contract. If it does not, that's then going to signal that the Dow should pull back to test its breakout area of 35,545. The S&P, same pattern, TD9 count top. Price below the oscillator and change line. But support for it, which was tested and rejected yesterday, is 46.35. If price closes below that, that sets up a move in the S&P down to 45.51. The NDX 100, a TD9 count top. Uh, price is right now below the top of its daily profile, not shown here. That is at 16.105 and below its oscillator and change line. So unless price closes above those levels, and if it does, then that says you run back to the highs. As long as price remains below that level, that would say the NQ could be targeting the 15.763 level to 15.677. The NQ trading at 16.055, the NDX 100 16.062. So not much of a spread there that you have to worry about. Inside the uh, Russell 2000, it's got to sell the D point. Price pulls back, tests and rejects the green oscillator and change line. It's neutral. The other signals are not neutral. The Dow, the S&P, and the NDX 100. But in the case of Russell 2000, it's definitely neutral. The S and or the semis out there have a TD9 count top. Price push lower. Still hasn't tested that red os or the green oscillator and change line. But it's really in a neutral position as we speak right now. The transport's just trading sideways after that gigantic day uh, last week or the week before. Spot volatility X is right now trading below the 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is priced out at about 17. Let me see if I can get this here. 17.74. A close below that would suggest the S&P 500 should travel higher. Folks, stay tuned for your favorite.